Welcome, folks, to another Let's Play. I'm Samurai TX, and this is Let's Play Castlevania, made in 1986 by Konami, released on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Happy anniversary, Castlevania. 30 years it's been since the first Castlevania game, which we're about to play today. It's been 15 years since I last played this game, and my reason for playing this game is because I'm giving Yu-Gi-Oh! a break for a while. So, um, we're not going to be playing card games. We are going to be Simon Belmont and whip enemies away from the world and eliminate Dracula. So without further ado, let's play! Simon Belmont is entering the castle. We got a lot of work to do because there's six stages, uh, six levels in the game. Beast, use your whip and ace to jump. That's a whip power up, and that's a second whip power up. Now we can extend it longer. The hearts aren't w health, no less. The hearts are actually for the dagger, you know, for the second weapon. So if we use it once, you'll probably go down by one. Money doesn't really do anything in this game apart from give you points. The real thing you're going to be using is um, hearts for your um, weapons. The dagger is my least favourite weapon in this game. But we're going to be using it no less. Die, doggy. We're going to collect the money and then come up here. Wonder what's up here. Hearts. Now we're going to go back up there. Destroy the candles so that we can get some hearts or a new weapon. Something better than the um, dagger, which we do have already, which is the holy water. Up and B is to use the um, weapon. Well, at the moment, we're just going to stick with the whip. Because Simon Belmont likes whipping things. Whipping candlelights. Whipping enemies. Whipping bats. Whipping pretty much everything. With that, and there's a crucifix which eliminates every enemy on the screen. So now we are entering the next part of the level. Whip. Ah, bat! Die. Don't like bats in games. They're pretty annoying, honestly. Ouch. So we got a crucifix which eliminates enemies on the screen. But there weren't any enemies on the screen anyway. Oh, we got the friggin' clock. They want the clock. Well, we're going to be using our whip definitely now because we got the another crappy weapon, which is the clock. But the clock freezes enemies. Daggers just takes long to kill people. Oh my word, that would have been humiliating if that hit me. Right, holy water again. Nice. At least we got a better weapon than the bloody watch or clock. Oh boy. Stupid bat. Well, at least the bat died once he hit me. Another bat. Whoa. Okay, let's see what that is. Crucifix. Or rosary, I think it's called. Either way, it kills the enemies. But there weren't none on the screen anyway. What's this? A heart. Let's go down the stairs. Get the money. Whip the enemies. Get heart. Invincibility. It's temporary, it lasts about 10 seconds, or even shorter than that, to be honest. Use the crucifix to eliminate the enemies. Sorry, no snake in this video, but you have to deal with me. First boss of the game is the Phantom Bat. And we're going to be using the axe. Ouch. Oh yeah, we pick up the thing, it just doubles our attack, I think. Get off the stairs. There we go, enemy defeated. Pretty easy level, that. Level over! So that level went pretty nice for us. And we got the axe, which is pretty cool. But we'll probably change our weapon to one of my other favourites in the game, which is probably a boomerang. I think it's a cross or a boomerang. I call it a boomerang because it comes back like one. We're on to level 2 now. Probably going to call it a video after we beat the second level. And we got the boomerang. But we also lost that um, 
2. So now we're back to 0. New enemies. Night. But the bats is nothing new, but it's distracting anyway. But you will be running into new enemies in this game, which will be annoying. Especially this level anyway. Whip. Collect the money for points. Ah, bat. That bat weren't going to get me. Pick up the money. Love this music. Throw the boomerang. Pick up the heart. Jump. Got to be careful with the jumping in this game. Because it's not the best in this game. Especially when you're on a moving platform. Do not jump. Otherwise you will fall off it. Ah, the Medusa heads. Not my favourite enemies in the game. They're probably my least favourite and the most annoying ones in the game. But we're not going to try our best to kill them. We're going to just try our best to avoid them. Very nice. There we go. No, we don't want the dagger, so we're going to wait for it to disappear. There we go. Phew. I thought the Medusa heads was going to be so distracting. Whip the armor out of the way. Get the crucifix. Right, it's very nice to collect a lot of hearts, but this part of the level is going to be very difficult. Medusa heads. I'm just going to not get that um, candle. Okay, that's our first death, but I'm not taking it like that. Ouch. It's just money anyway. Okay, the cr the um, crimson heads. Same Resident Evil, but these Medusa heads are so annoying. Right, let's dodge the Medusa heads. Come on, Simon. Thank you. Right, at least um, we didn't die as much as I thought we would, but... Power of save states, I don't want to abuse them. Oh, chick chicken. Which is somehow in walls, which is pretty damn weird. So let's jump. What's that? No, we don't want to watch. Absolutely not. Let's throw that and get the heart instead. I'm going to be very careful. Heart. Not bad. I don't think that was worth getting the money, but seems we're going to be going back here about killing the enemy. Would the enemy give us a heart? Hopefully it does. Ouch. Oh, come on. It only gave us money, so that weren't even worth it. I just hurt myself for no bloody reason. So once I beat the Castlevania game, um, we'll be going back to Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul. But yes, it's nice to take a break from a game you're um, LP in. Would have chose Phoenix Wright, but I'm near the end of that game, so... Looks like we're going to constantly upload those until they're finished. Right, let's keep walking this way. Ah, me. Thank you. War meat. Only Dracula will put war meat in his castle. Right, we're going to save here because this part's pretty dangerous. Right, let's whip. wonder what the weapon is here. Ah, oh, holy war. Right, let's wait. Go, 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 go. There we go. Greed almost punished me there. Almost did, but you know, I was a bit more careful than usual. Ah, nice. Alright, not too bad. Let's whip this little dragon head. 
Ouch. That wasn't too nice. There we go. Alright, I was focusing there, that's why I didn't talk for a while, but yeah. This game is pretty simple, actually. I always found this hard as a child, but obviously when you're a child, you're you're a bit uh, bad at games. Especially these kind of games, especially considering the enemies are much harder in these games. Games in the 80s never used to be so easy. They always gave you a challenge, one way or another. Well, Mario was pretty ouch. Mario was pretty ouch, okay. But Mario was pretty easy then. Now we're gonna fight the new um, uh, second boss of the game, is the Queen Medusa head. Good thing I got the holy water. And it's easy when you have the um, when you have the holy war, you can punish enemies very easy there, as the Medusa head couldn't really move. I should say the Queen Medusa head couldn't move, so we um, pretty much threw as much of it there. So it's been 11 minutes. I'm gonna call the video because um, well, this is a quick let's play anyway. There's only six levels in this game, so I'll, I'll do two each. But this will consist of three videos. So. When we come back, folks, we'll play more Castlevania. Until then, until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.